What's up guys, it's Rogelio from One Bro Gaming with a new rebuild video. Today we're gonna go ahead and rebuild the San Antonio Spurs with Wemby and hopefully get them a championship. I'm gonna do a one and done basically for every single team and uh, we're gonna start off with the San Antonio Spurs obviously in the modern era. So let's go ahead and uh, get that started and see what the team's looking like and see who we're gonna trade because there's gonna be a lot of trades uh, with this this video and probably these series. We got Victor who's obviously gonna stay. Chris Paul, I might keep. He's good for what it is now. If we're going for a one year type of thing, he could honestly be good for us in that one year. We've got Vassell who's a potential stay. Keldon, I think I'm gonna trade. Collins, I might trade. Trey Jones could be a good backup, but I'll see. So Chan might be moved to the small forward. If we don't get a better one, Barnes is gonna get traded. Uh, Amalekai might get traded. So yeah, a lot of these people are gonna potentially get traded. We have Stefan Castle. He's not gonna be an amazing player for us in the beginning. So he might be good trade bait for a potential player or superstar to be brought over to the Spurs. So a lot to look at, a lot to potentially do here. Chris Paul wants to retire and is eligible for a farewell tour. If you say yes, their plans to retire cannot be reversed. Allow them to go on a farewell tour. That's fine, we're only doing one year anyways. Chris Paul, let's get you a championship in your final year. Who are we trading and for what? And what does the team need? I say the team potentially needs a solid small forward. It's gonna take me a while. Let me look through all these trades first and then we will go ahead and I'll just show you which ones we're gonna consider, obviously. I say we just, yeah, we do that and get Draymond as our power forward. I think that might be, that might. this might be one of the trades we do. Definitely potential there. Draymond Green, potential. James Harden, make him a two. Zubak, backup center. That's not a bad idea. So Harden, Zubak, and Draymond Green. We've got some potential there. We can literally trade Zach Collins and Harrison Barnes to get Draymond. I'm not happy. I'm, I mean, I'm not angry about that. Melton could be decent off the bench. I say we pull the trigger. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Okay, I know how to do trades, 2K. You should definitely do like a do you need tips type of thing. Because in this case, I don't need any help. I know how to do this. I know what I'm proposing. I'm giving up a lot here. But we're, we're trying to win now. And Draymond Green brings even more defense to this team at that power forward position. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Can we still trade for James Harden? I think this was the trade. Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson. And we get Zubak as our backup center. We get James Harden, which will move to the shooting guard position. And we'll see if that is good for us. I didn't want to trade Vassell, but let's just go ahead and rebuild this whole team. We're not going to longevity. We're going in the sense of win right now. And I think this might be a good trade for us. So let's rock that. Chris Paul, James Harden. We need a small forward. So that's the focus now. We got Draymond and Wemby with Zubak as our backup uh, center and six man. Trey Jones still there. So Chan, we can make a small forward if we don't end up being uh, being able to bring in another person. What about just Castle by himself? Can that bring in somebody solid from another team? Kelly Umbre is not a bad pickup. That is not a bad pickup at all. I think Sadiq Bay. I think Kelly Umbre might be the move. Brings a little bit of defense, some shooting, just decent rebounding, and some points off the bench. Castle, we're not using. Braham's getting minutes, so his minutes can go to Kelly Umbre. I say we rock this trade. We've got Chris Paul, James Harden, So Chan, Draymond Green, Victor Wembanyama, Zubak, okay. Kelly Umbre Jr., Trey Jones, and Melton. Lineups looking solid so far. I have no complaints. Six man getting 30 is kind of crazy, but we'll see how these guys do. I think we're gonna rock. Yeah, I think we might rock this team. See if we have to do any trades at the halfway point where we can trade some of the pieces we've already uh, acquired after 60 days and then go from there. Harden 12 and 11, Draymond Green triple-double. Oh my God, Chris Paul, eight assists. 
But overall, yep, 18 points from Kelly Umbre. I told you that's going to be a W pickup right there. All right, so now let's just go ahead and simulate through about the halfway point. We need 60 days, so uh, right before the All-Star break, I guess January 9th is fine. Before we have to face the Lakers. We need wins, though. Strauss, Paul. Okay, now we're starting to get those victories. The team's starting to mesh. Team chemistry's at 100, by the way, which is a W. Nas Reed, no. I would lose two big pieces from the starting lineup. We are positive currently, so that's a W. Currently 13 and eight. We don't care about the draft since we're not drafting. We're doing one season with the Spurs, see if I can rebuild a championship potential team, or at least playoffs, because they didn't make the playoffs prior. We should beat them. Yes, let's go. Zubak is out. We'll leave him in the game though. Lose to Golden State by 10. We're not trading Chris Paul. I do, I do want to keep that open in case a good trade option does pop up for us but I don't want to risk, uh, you know, I don't want to risk missing out on some good potential trades that the CPUs want to throw at me. Currently 19 and 12, 19 and 13. We don't need Bones Island. We beat the Clippers. We beat Golden State, not Golden State. We beat the, uh, the Nuggets back to back games. Let's go. So big W's, we made it to the end of the simulation. Oh, actually, no, we still got time for the simulation. Draymond Green is out for the season? For the sake of the video, do I turn off injuries or do I just let him take the L? That puts Wemby at the four, Zubak at the five. All right, you know what? For the sake of this video, I'm gonna, I'm okay with injuries that are like a week, you know, a month, sure that happens. But the reason we brought Draymond is to have this defensive team with Wemby and Draymond. I'm gonna take away his injury. Um, for future videos, if you guys don't want me to do that, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, no, I'm gonna heal him for this time and uh, see how we actually play. Cause yeah, no, he would have been out for over a year. So he's cooked. So let's make him healthy again. In the sense of the video, I think it's important to keep him in here. Is that okay with you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, no, Chris Paul, Harden, let's see how they've been playing so far. As far as the team stats go, we've got Wemby, 27, 13, three, one and a half, two and a half. He is dominating. Uh, Harden, 16 and seven with four boards. Sochan, 12, five and three with a steal a game. Zubak, 12 and nine with a block a game a steal a game, a steal and a block a game. Overall, this is a defensive team. Even Melton is getting a steal a game. So I think we built a pretty strong defensive team here. So let's go ahead and keep the simulation going. As far as awards go, is anybody on our team in those award races? Victor is fourth for MVP. Uh, no rookies, no six man. It's just crazy because you would think Zubak would be playing good enough to be a six man. Wemby, Defensive Player of the Year, which is a W to see. Most improved in fifth is Victor Wembenyama. Clutch player, nobody from the Spurs. Most valuable, like I said, he's already fourth. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep simulating through. I don't think we're gonna do any more trades. I like the team, how we built it. Um, I feel like everybody's got a good place for what I want them to do as far as defense and scoring goes. Um, so let's simulate through the season and uh, see what we can do. I think, yeah, I think that I'm not mad at that. Let's bring in Jalen Johnson. How's he doing? 13, seven, three, a steal a game uh, efficiently from the field. Uh, three point could be better. Six, eight, you can make him a small forward. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this trade. Bring him in, make a 10 man rotation. That was a W trade. Let's go ahead and keep simulating. Our chemistry still at 100. We're currently 25 and 15. So let's simulate and see how dominant we can be. Cause I built, I built a defensive squad here. I'm pretty happy with it. So Chen for Allen. We don't need a big man. We don't need a big man. Currently 28 and 16. The simulation is kind of slow. It's slower than last year, if you ask me. I don't know why they did that. Chris Paul's injured for six, six to eight weeks. Okay, so for that one, he'll be back for the playoffs. We'll put Trey Jones in there, bring the depth down because uh, we don't need to give this random some minutes there and then we'll just go from there see how we keep playing without Chris Paul we still got plenty of playmakers on the team 
so that shouldn't affect us too much dude we are playing really good right now 34 and 35 36 and 16 uh here i don't need to do the scouting change that to automatic james harden leave him in the rotation another thing we want to go ahead and check because i didn't is the all-star uh participants yeah we didn't even get to see that spurs oh wait that's east west victor made it i don't think he was captain kd's here curry's there lebron's there so i don't think he was captain but victor made it to the all-star game so that's a w i think i did it oh my god this spurs team could potentially win as a crazy rebuild obviously but this spurs team could go all the way and win the championship we are currently 46 47 and 20. chris paul why bro because we can definitely we can definitely finish off this season without chris paul but once that's these injuries are crazy bro luca wins mvp uh i want to assume that victor was in there uh in the talks but unfortunately luca got it we didn't have a rookie playing amen gets a uh, six man of the year victor Wembenyama, defensive player of the year 27 points 27 and a half 12 rebounds three and a half assists one and a half steals two and a half blocks uh man's a beast this is crazy w for victor most improved goes to Amen, clutch player Lamelo, and executive. That's not me, but I made the executive changes. So basically, I did that for the team. And we finished off with Victor as an all NBA first team. I don't think we're gonna have any other spur on here. Yep, didn't think so. Oh, uh, defensive, we had Victor on first team. Nobody on second team? I had such a defensive team. That's kind of crazy, but it is what it is simulate the play-in we've got golden state so we'll simulate through games we lose the first one win the second one win the third win the fourth and advance to the second round as we go up against okc and i know that's gonna be a tough one um hopefully we can clutch that out let's adjust those minutes and then simulate through game we win game one win game two lose game three win game four and advance to face dallas in the conference finals simulate we win simulate we lose we lose we win we lose okay simcast for game five we need to win this game here please tell me we no. we're having a terrible second yeah no ggs all of that this great defensive team and then we get eliminated in the conference finals to dallas and uh it's dallas and the knicks on the uh, uh in the finals and dallas ends up winning the championship so at least the team that beat us ended up winning the championship luca was the mvp wins finals mvp so the spurs do not end up winning the championship with this rebuild that i did even though we honestly i think we did a pretty good job with these trades Wembenyama, harden draymond green zubak johnson sochan kelly umbre trey jones and melton that was a good lineup in my eyes what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below uh because yeah that was crazy how did i do could this have gone better should i not have traded for somebody or should i have tried to trade for somebody else i think i did a good job i'm not mad at it it is what it is and uh yeah i guess only thing left to ask here is what team do you guys want me to rebuild next uh let me know in the comments down below and then i'll work on that one uh as soon as i can appreciate you guys thank you for watching and deuces